everybody, welcome to the Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be all about a product that is going to help you take the pressure off of your homeschool. This is the top seller at the Wild Dog Way and it is our new Discovery Decks. You guys all love them. You've been telling us tons of different ways that you're using them and giving us lots of ideas for what topics we can add next. In case you are new here and you don't know what a discovery deck is, a discovery deck is a set of 20 questions that are perfect for curious kids on different topics. Currently we have over 20 topics. Um, each question is on a card such as this, and it includes a QR code. The QR code when scanned will take your child to a kid appropriate YouTube video that is going to answer that question. All of the videos that I use are 10 minutes or less. I try to actually keep them closer to five to seven when possible, but some things need a little longer to explain. They're all less than 10 minutes. These have been a favorite in our personal homeschool for the past year. Like they saved my bacon, especially this time of year in the winter when let's just be honest, after the holidays, we all need something that doesn't require as much of us as homeschool teachers because we have entered the winter blues part of our homeschool. I am going to show you a little bit inside of our brand new Celebrate Christmas Discovery Deck so you can kind of have an idea of what types of questions are in this deck in case you're looking for a really, really simple thing to add to Christmas school. This is it, you guys. I had somebody tell me they were gonna use theirs as Advent and they were gonna just leave one out or let their kids do one a day counting down to Christmas. Um, and that way they knew that they were having an engaging, educational, low prep, zero pressure thing to do each and every day. So some of the questions included are, how is Christmas celebrated in Germany? How is Christmas celebrated in Scotland? Now that is just two, but I believe at least eight of the 20 questions in this one are how Christmas is celebrated around the world, different places. Um, we have who invented ugly Christmas sweaters? Who invented candy canes? What are the world's coolest Christmas traditions? Why is eggnog a holiday drink? Why do we have Christmas trees? Why do we give gifts on Christmas? Why do we hang stockings at Christmas? So that is just a sample of some of the ones that are included in the Celebrate Christmas deck. Um, now, I personally use our Discovery decks for strewing in our homeschool. I like to keep all of them in this cute little galvanized container. Um, typically they sit right there next to that other galvanized container in our homeschool. Um, and I would just randomly strew one. So if I know that we're gonna be home and I'm gonna need five or 10 extra minutes in the morning, Emily's gonna need something to keep her occupied while she's eating breakfast, then I leave one on the table. Um, and I rotate through our many different topics because what I love about strewing is that it lets me know what Emily's interested in or something she may be um, becoming more interested in. So I like to strew just from random topics. So I put all of our discovery decks together, randomly mix them up and just pick a card and give it to her. And then when she's watched it, we put it to the back so that we're not repeating the same card over and over and over. Um, I've had other people tell me that they use them in their morning basket. That way they can just pick a card and watch a five to 10 minute educational video every morning during their morning basket as a family. Um, tons and tons of different uses for them. I also love to use them when I need five to 10 minutes of peace and quiet. So if I know that I just need to be able to make a phone call or um, scream into a pillow or get dinner ready, I can easily say, hey, hey, go, you know, watch this. And I feel zero guilt because it's educational. Um, and I know she's learning something and she loves it because it's screen time, right? Like what kid doesn't love screen time? So the topics or some of the topics, because there are tons to choose from, we have brain breaks, which this is actually one of my favorite ones because this is actually movement. So it is fun, like movement activities for kids. I love to use this when we just need to shake up our homeschool a little bit. Um, it's like Minecraft fitness runs on the TV or learning how to do a burpee or jumping rope, like all of these really cool things that kids can either learn or have like a fun fitness part of it. 
Uh, we have All About Bugs, All Things Space, Legendary Landmarks, The Human Body, Weather, Mythical Creatures. This is one of Emily's favorites. She loves when I pull a card from that. All About Plants. All About Animals. Birds. All Things U.S. History. Interesting Inventions. Spectacular Sports. Sensational Science and how things are made. And then two new ones that we also just added when we added Celebrate Christmas are new steam builds. So they are really fun because they're landmarks either from the US or the world. Um, and they have a picture of the, the place. So for the White House, for example, um, or the Alamo, and they have suggestions for how your kids can build that thing. So if you have a child who's really into building, there's all these different mediums of how you can build this famous landmark, and then a QR code to watch and learn more about that landmark. So that is really fun. Emily's really enjoyed that one as well. One of the things that I absolutely love is how easy these discovery decks are. So it's literally as easy as one, two, three. One, print the cards. Two, have your kids scan the cards. Three, have them watch and learn. Like it is so, so easy. you started using discovery decks in your homeschool yet? If so, I would love it if you tell me what your kid's favorite one is and if there's a topic you would like us to look into doing.